it's quiet, the sun is shining on your face, the wind is blowing, you can hear birds calling to one another back and forth. You're seeing species of tern and they're hunting. You can literally see the fish in their mouth. You're seeing larvae of like the insects that are bugging you. I don't think that a lot of kids know that this place is here. I've lived in Queens my whole life. This place is literally 30 minutes from my home. I didn't learn about it until I was a teenager. My name is Nikia Wilson and I do wildlife research here at Jamaica Bay Wildlife Refuge. Salt marshes are super important. They're nurseries, they're habitat, they're food. They filter our water. Salt marshes are actually as productive as tropical rainforests. These islands are the life's blood of Jamaica Bay. Unfortunately, we lost 70% of the marshes over the last 100 years. My name is Don Reapy. I'm the Jamaica Bay guardian for the American Littoral Society. Don Reapy. Oh, we love Don. <sighs> he has such a heart and a passion for this place. I met Nakia here. We were doing a study of the diamondback pelicans in the bay. <laughs> I remember as a, a young boy growing up in Queens and seeing all the bird life and horseshoe crabs and fishing. And so I began to, you know, really value and, and love the bay. So when I started seeing more of these places getting filled in and bulkheaded, dredged, abused by marine debris, I decided I need to do something about it. At some point it was so bad that we were losing about 40 acres of Marsh Island per year. That's 40 acres less of a habitat, of a home, of food. If we don't protect the marshes, we lose all the marine life, the birds and other animals. But also we're going to put New York City in a more dangerous place when we have any kind of nor'easters or hurricanes, coastal storms. Salt marshes, they're like our frontline defenses. They act like sponges and they soak up extra water. If they weren't there, New York City would probably be underwater. You see how it gets during hurricanes. People say, oh, nature, it's so nice. Nature is not nice. Here in New York tonight, there is already a state of emergency. Hurricane Sandy crashing on shore. Oh my God, it's washing everything away! What do you think of that hurricane? I think it was kind of really dangerous. Is this the future of New York now? And our world is changing. Sea level is rising. And we're going to have to deal with it. bit about what's happening to restore the habitat of Jamaica Bay. This has been going on for the past few years, especially post Superstorm Sandy. There's been a big push to restore these islands and marsh areas. Their efforts may make the area more storm resistant and also keep local wildlife thriving. Being out here, being able to breathe, do something nice for the environment, it's a great experience. Sowing the seeds for a brighter, more resilient New York City. They've been replanting the marsh islands. We bring in sand and put it on top of the eroded marshes and then plant it, and it seems to be working well. Yeah, it's been so successful. It's so encouraging to me to know, like, we, we've done wrong, we saw wrong, and we're fixing it. You know, I like what's happened, but uh, I don't think the bay is saved yet. <laughs> we still have a ways to go, not only here, but as a nation. I'm hopeful because worldwide we see young people getting more and more involved. You hope that of all the kids that you bring, you set a spark there. Because this is their future. I always thought that I had to choose between working in New York and working outdoors in nature. Never realizing that Jamaica Bay was here, the Marsh Islands are here. If kids came here, they could actually learn about things that they only see on TV. Jamaica Bay is for all of us to experience, enjoy, it's protected, it's ours, and it's here. <laughs>